Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be hopefully a vlog. I'm really sorry for the uh, completely atrocious lighting. Um, this is kind of off the cuff. I wasn't planning on doing this. I just kind of got home from work and decided and just put things going. Um, yes, so I've decided I'm going to do a challenge vlog and this is to see how much I can read over the course of the weekend. It's now roughly half past four on Friday the 10th of November and I'm home from work. I've finished all of that for the weekend. All I have to do this weekend is some housework and I do have to pop to town tomorrow morning for a bit and I've got a couple of television programs that that I don't like to miss um, but other than that my time is my own so I thought that I would concentrate on reading. I'm, I've am i seen challenge uh, videos where they do can I read for 12 hours in 24 or 24 in 48. I've seen challenge videos where they set a, a timer um, to see how much they can read um, or how long it takes them to read for 24 hours in total. And I thought I would just do a play on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time my reading um, and I'm going to add it all up and just see at the end of the vlog how much time I have actually spent reading this weekend. To help me focus on reading, I've also decided to make it a challenge to finish books that I've already started and specifically finish books I've already started that are books in series. Because if you've seen my November TBR, then you know that November is this series reading month. And I have an idea of where I'm going to start. So my main priority to start with is going to be Before They're Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. It's the second book in the first Law Trilogy. As you can see, this is literally all I've got left. I made some really great progress with it in October when I was away on a reading retreat, but I haven't picked it up since and it really does need finishing. So this of physical reads, this is my priority to pick up. Because I want to actually finish books, um, I'm going to go with the quick wins instead of um, finishing books that I have no hope of finishing. Um, and this next book is the start of a series, but the second book is only just out or is about to come out. Um, and this is a book that my nephew lent me uh, right at the beginning of the year and I never got round to reading. And he's tasked me with finishing it. I'm already overdue, way overdue finishing it. Um, but that book is Which Way to Anywhere by Cressida Cowell. Again, as you can see, that's all I've got left. And being a middle grade book, it is not all writing. There are pictures in there. Um, so it should be a quick read. And I don't understand why I haven't finished it yet. So this is going to be my second priority to finish of the physical books. Uh, again, my aim is to be finishing books and hopefully finishing series. So this next book will cover both of those bases if I can get to it. And that is Dreams of Gods and Monster by Lainey Taylor. I did pick it up um, and I've read about that much. So I've got all of this left to go. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think I can finish this this weekend at all in any way, shape and form. But if I can get more progress into it, I would really like to do that. Uh, it is on this month's TBR. It was one that I wanted to read for Becca's Readathon last weekend, but I had a lot less reading time than I actually thought. So, yeah, this one's not going to. Um, this one is, is is definitely a priority for once I've finished the previous two books. At the beginning of this intro, I said that I wanted to uh, get some housework done as well this weekend because I've got a few things that actually absolutely must be done. And that should be the absolute right time to smash out uh, an audiobook. However, I don't have any audiobooks in progress that are in a series. So that knocks that on the head. And then I remembered that I discovered a few months ago that Alexa, if you have the Kindle app, will read books to you aloud. And brilliant. Um, I have... Uh, Bonds of Chaos by Zach Argyle. It's the final book in his Threadlight series 
and I started it months ago. I was starting it, I was reading it as a read along and then uh, the reading group decided to cancel it. They hadn't really enjoyed the previous two books as much as they thought and they weren't going to continue with the final book. And I kind of DNF'd it myself as well. So I decided that while I'm doing things around the flat, I'll pop in my earphones and I will listen to Alexa reading Bonds of Chaos to me while I'm moving around. Um, and yeah, it means that I can hopefully get yet another uh, series finished um, this weekend. And I'll have, well, spoiler for my wrap up, I'll have two series finished this week. Um, so that would be really, really good. So I am going to try and set a timer going to time me, time all my reading sessions. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with uh, listening as well as reading. I'm not quite sure. I'll see how that goes. Um, what will probably happen is because I'm going to have to use my tablet and I think if my tablet shuts itself down, it will cancel the timer. I think what I'll do is at the end of every session... I'll keep a notebook handy and I will just write down how long I've been reading for at the end of that session. Um, and then I'll add them all up and come back to you with how much time I've spent on books at the end of the weekend. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully you're going to come along on this journey with me. Um, like I say, I'm going to go out a bit tomorrow, so maybe I'll get some um, B-roll footage in. I definitely have to go to Waterstones and I have to go to my library so hopefully I can get some B-roll from that for you. Um, and yeah, I'll come back and update you um, a bit later on this evening. Hello again. Uh, so I said I'd update you and it's now about four hours later. It's just about half past eight in the evening. I've done a few things around the flat that I wanted to do and I've settled down and had some food and I watched uh, the TV programs that I normally watch early evening. And while I've been um, pottering around, I have been listening to Bonds of Chaos. I've listened to about an hour and 50 minutes of it, according to the timer. It's been going for about an hour and 50 minutes. Um, I did have to uh, try and figure out how to get my... Um, uh, Alexa to work again because it didn't work initially and I had to and that took about half an hour to get that started so I didn't actually start listening until around about five o'clock and then I stopped just before six to have my food and um and watch a bit of telly and then I procrastinated after my programs had finished about half an hour but I finished doing all the odds and ends that I wanted to do um so I thought I'd come on and update you and let you know that I'm now going to uh, settle down for the evening um, uh, with, uh, I've got a drink, um, I don't need any snacks because I've had my tea, but I'm going to read for an hour, hour and a half before I go to bed um, and I'm going to see how far I can get into before they're hanged. Um, not sure whether I will update again this evening, um, but if not then I'll let you know tomorrow morning how I got on.
I'm sure you can tell from the change in light that we are on a brand new day. It is Saturday afternoon. It's nearly half past two. Um, yeah, I got up very late this morning and then I had my breakfast, kind of more of a brunch than a breakfast. And then I had to go into town. So um, I've been into town and I went to the library. You'll have seen some B-roll. I went into the library, did the things I had to do in town. And then I popped into Waterstones. I did behave. I didn't buy any books in Waterstones. I just had a quick, brief look round. Um, I did pick up a book in the library. I picked up the, An Echo of Things to Come by James Eilington. This is book two of the Lycanius trilogy. Um, I read the first book either the beginning of last year or the beginning of this year. I can't quite remember. Um, but I thought as they had it there on the shelves that I would pick it up and see if I can get to it this month as well on top of my already bulging TBR. I haven't read anything at all yet today. Uh, like I say, I got up late and then I had to go to town. And now I have to do some housework again because there are some things that I didn't do yesterday evening because I felt I live in a flat and I don't feel it's fair to be doing things like hoovering at eight, nine o'clock at night. That to do this afternoon. So I'm thinking I'm going to pop in my earbuds again and listen to more of Bonds of Chaos by Zach Argyle. Then um, there's a couple of TV programs I want to watch this evening. Uh, so I'm not sure how much physical reading I'll get done today. Um, I did only read for about two hours and 40 minutes in total yesterday evening. Um, so I only read about 30 pages of Before They're Hanged. I struggled to sit down to it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to find time for it this evening either, really. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll stop filming this and I will get on and uh, do my housework and come back and update you a bit later on. Hello again. So it's a couple of hours later. It's now about quarter to five on Saturday evening and I have finished doing all the jobs I wanted to do and I'm feeling a lot better. My flat feels tidier and yeah, I'm just feeling a lot calmer. Um, it's just one of those things that I find is that it's true what they say, tidy home equals tidy mind and yep, yeah, that's definitely true for me. I've been listening to Bonds of Chaos as I go, as I said I would. I've listened to the equivalent of about another 110 pages. So I'm now two thirds of the way through that book, which is great. Um, I have to go out again tomorrow. I'm not sure about um, listening again tomorrow while I'm out and about. Um, it will only be a quick, um, I'll drive into town very quickly um and come back home again um but one of the programs i wanted to watch this evening starts at six o'clock and i have to think about my evening meal now because i'm starting to get hungry so i thought instead of trying to pick up before the air hanged and having to put that down to pick it up to put it down to pick it up i thought i'd go with uh which way to anywhere instead um, because this is a much faster read because it's middle grade it's a lot easier for an adult to pick up and put down and come back to so I'm thinking this will be this evening's read and then maybe I can come back to before they are hanged tomorrow um, like I said yesterday you know I'm quite a way into this I'm over halfway so I should be able to get a good chunk of that read this evening um, there are a couple of programmes I want to watch this evening, so it's six o'clock, it's uh, Strictly Come Dancing, which is the UK equivalent, if you're overseas, um, you probably know it's Dancing with the Stars, here in the UK we called it Strictly Come Dancing, and then at nine o'clock is the uh, Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance, which I do try and watch every single year, so, so I will be watching that this evening, probably won't read again after that, so Again, not sure if I will update you again this evening, um, but I have been reading for about four hours and 40 minutes in total. It's not a lot considering I've had most of the day, but like I said earlier, I did get up very, very early and that is my own fault. I've lost a lot of reading time there um, when I could have, yeah, I could have been reading instead of lounging around and not bothering to get up. Uh, so it's time to go and get something to eat. 
get something to drink um, because I've only had one cup of coffee all day. I'm terrible. When, I, when I'm at work, I just drink non-stop. But when I'm at home, I just forget to get myself a drink. Uh, I need to rectify that um, because I usually sit down with something alcoholic while I'm watching Strictly. And if I want to do that, I think I need to take in something non-alcoholic first just to balance the two things out. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'll chat to you again later. Morning booktube. Um, it's Sunday morning. It's half past nine. I'm awake. I'm up. I'm not an early riser. Um, I'm, I have to have an alarm if I want to be out of bed before nine o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm up. I haven't read anything yet. Um, still in my pyjamas. I need to shower and sort this mop out. Uh, but I'm have nothing to do today. I have a whole day of nothing except reading. So, uh, I got up to over six hours, uh, read yesterday. Um, so in total, since I've been on Friday, I've been, I've read for just over six hours. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can make it another six hours a day and let's see if I can hit 12 hours. Um, and let's see if I can do that by half past four today, because then that would be 12 hours and 24. Um, and then let's see how far beyond that I can get. Let's see if I can do better than that. Um, yeah, so my plans are, um, I put my book down. Um, hold on a second. So yesterday evening, um, after I last updated you in between watching Strictly Come Dancing and the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall, I was reading Which Way to Anywhere by Cressida Cow, and I finished it and I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to my nephew insisting on me reading the sequel once he's read it, obviously. It's a great book, really enjoyed it, very uh, imaginative. Um, <sighs> I don't really want to talk too much about this because I promised my nephew that I would do um, an individual review of this of its own. Uh, so I don't want to say too much other than that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Really glad that he's nagged me to get on and finish it because I have had it for about eight months. Um, so I shall be returning it to him very, very soon uh, once I've finished doing a video for it, its own review video. But yes, so that one is done. So for the rest of today, I will be concentrating on Before They Are Hanged to see if I can get through to the end of this one. Um, I, like I say, I did make some progress, but not very much, not noticeable progress on Friday evening. Um, and then, yeah, maybe I'll have a go at finishing Bonds of Chaos. I do have to edit um, a video for tomorrow evening and... Um, get that uploaded and if possible um I do actually need to edit the following Monday's uh video as well because I need to get them off of my memory card um my uh, my phone is saying that uh it's very very full and that I don't have enough storage so I've got a couple of videos prepared in advance and one of them has quite a lot of footage that needs to be edited down and I haven't even started on it yet. So yeah, uh, that needs to happen and that needs to happen soon. Um, so yeah, so first order of the day though is I'm gonna go and make some breakfast, coffee, breakfast, and Lucy Wood um, has uploaded a new video and I want to watch sit and watch that one. So I'm going to do that. That will be first order of the day. Um, and yeah, like I said, at some point I need to get showered and dressed and, you know, sort myself out. But it's going to be a lazy Sunday, mostly taken up with reading, um, which is the sort of Sunday that I enjoy. I will come back and update you later.
then so it's much later on in the day uh it's actually uh just closing on half past three now in the afternoon and um i procrastinated a little bit earlier uh, i have to admit um i did watch lucy wood's video but then i saw the time and realized that the um service at the cenotaph uh, for Remembrance Sunday was on, so I did watch that um, before I then eventually went and got in the shower and got dressed. Um, and then after I got dressed, I decided I wanted to play with my hair colours. So my readings plans changed and I haven't been reading before they are hanged because I was playing around with my hair and also I wanted to carry on with my other hobby, which is cross stitch. I decided to carry on listening to Bonds of Chaos as well and I've just finished listening to it and I thought it was the opportune time to come in and update you again because I'm going decided I'm going to take a little break, break now. I did enjoy Bonds of Chaos. I've given it three stars. I think the series as a whole for me is a three star series. It's not a bad series. It's um, not as good as I initially hoped after finishing the first book. Uh, the first book was a four star book for me but the second and third have only been three stars so um yeah i think i would definitely pick up more of his work in future this was a debut series for zach argyle um and it was self-published and yeah i just i just enjoyed the experience of it so i he's not someone that i wouldn't not read again in the future he's someone that i would definitely pick up his books if they came across my path so i've taken a little bit of time to just um while the book, that book was ending just to update my reading journal um because i hadn't added which way to anywhere in in there when i finished it yesterday evening because i did finish that yesterday evening as i said earlier um, but now I think what I'm going to do is, um, I've got a couple of things that I want to do, but I might just take a break from books for the moment and just maybe make myself a drink and come back when those things are done. Settle because I've then got a couple of hours before the result show for, for last night strictly and then I'll have a couple of hours before bed to read so I'll have a nice chunk of time in which I think I can probably get through the rest of before they're hanged um, because I won't be thinking about what other books I'm going to be reading and I won't be switching between listening and reading I'm thinking that that is probably what I'll do uh, just looking at my timer um, I've been reading consuming books for just under nine and a quarter hours so I'm not going to make the 12 hours and 24 by half past four uh, not by any stretch of the imagination not unless someone has a time machine they can lend me um, and I can go back to earlier and make up for it I'm feeling really pleased with myself because that is two books finished so far it brings down the number of books I've started this year but not finished to less than five um, which I'm really pleased about so yeah, so let's see how I go from here and I'll update you. I'll try and update you at least once more before the end of today. Um, but if not, then I'll come on and do a whole film, a whole wrap up uh, tomorrow evening when I've got, um, I can give you a few stats. So I'll see you all later. Hi again. Uh, so final update of the vlog. I have finished reading it's 20 to 10 on Sunday evening I've just the second finished uh, before they're hanged by Joe Abcrombie I'm wrapping this up now because I am not going to pick up anything else and read this evening so I just thought I'd give you my brief thoughts on this um my opinion hasn't changed um Joe Abcrombie just isn't for me I'm probably going to finish out the series just because I just want some sense of what's happening. I really don't know what is going on. I don't understand what the premise is for the war that is happening or who some of the, 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 the races are that are mentioned in this that are supposedly a part of it but don't seem to come into it apart from a brief section in the first book. So I'm, I'm feeling just as confused by this as I was by the end of the first one. It's, the writing's okay, I guess, the style. Um, it's just, 
the storytelling isn't as filled out for me and the world building isn't as filled out for me in terms of what's driving all of this um, as it could have been. So, I mean, you never know. Book three might blow me away, um, but I don't actually hold out much hopes for it at this point. I'm, I'm just very much on the fence. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily say that I would recommend this book, this series to anybody which is quite strong because it normally even three star books you know there's there's some something in there that I would find to recommend to someone but with these I just don't know and I'm not even sure why I'm giving them three stars it's just it feels to give them anything less would be a disservice to them I just I can't get on board with Joe Abercrombie um and I think possibly if I do get on and finish the series and read Last Argument of Kings this is probably going to be my final attempt at reading him um, and I won't even go back and finish his previous series either. But at least this book is finished and it's another book that was on my list of ones that I've started this year um, that I wanted to finish and it's a book in a series so it's not moving away from my November TBR and I can just call it a win for that. So how have I done this weekend? So I got home from work um, and from doing other bits and pieces because uh, I have I have every Friday afternoon off of work um, but I got home about half past four on Friday it's now 20 to 10 like I say quarter to 10 at night um, on Sunday evening so I have been reading for about two days and five hours um, but I haven't been reading for all of that time uh, in total, I've been reading for about 10 and a half hours. So 10 hours, 33 minutes, if we're going to be exact. Most of that has been done today. I read for about two hours and 39 minutes on Friday evening. Yesterday, I read for three hours and 53 minutes. And today, I've read for four hours and one minute. Uh, which isn't too bad, I suppose, when you think about it. Um, because at least then, you know, I have been reading and I've been doing other things besides. So I went to town yesterday. You've seen B-roll from that. Um, I had a lazy start to yesterday. I had a slightly less lazy start to today, but there were other things. I allowed myself to watch the TV programs I wanted to watch in that time. Potted about and did things in the flat. Uh, one thing, I didn't read as much as I hoped in the last few hours since my last update because I then realised that I had to edit and upload the video um, that is going up on Monday the 13th at the point that you're watching this. Uh, I had to get all of that uploaded to YouTube because I hadn't done it yet. So and that took me a bit longer than it normally does just because of the nature of the video. Um, hopefully you've seen that video if you're watching if you're already watching this. This was fun and it was interesting. Um, I, I didn't quite make it to 12 hours in 24 but I think I would be quite interested in trying that actual challenge to be that specific. Another weekend where I don't really have any plans. I'm proud of myself that I've not quite spent an entire day reading over the course of the weekend but I've spent pretty much a day's worth of reading. And I, I feel like I've achieved things as well because sometimes I can spend a lot of time scrolling on my phone, playing games, reading, watching TV. And I get to the end of the weekend and I realise that I haven't done half of the things around the flat that I intended to do. And then I have to try and do it in my week evenings when I get home from work and I just, I don't want to do anything at all. So again, I end up watching TV, playing on my phone, reading my books and it just kind of snowballs sometimes. So um, I think this has really helped me because I was trying, because I was doing this challenge and because I was um, focused on something, it made me think about how I was going to do it. So instead of actually reading three physical books like I originally set out to do, I actually picked up uh, one of my, I made the choice on Friday evening to listen to one of my Kindle books through Alexa instead. Um, while I don't think that is the best way to consume books, especially fantasy, I really don't think Alexa is good for fantasy um, because it doesn't have the inflection that you need in tone and voice. 
uh, to be able to get the seriousness of some of the things that are going on um, and in some ways the lightheartedness of things that were going on. So it might be something that I use more to consume maybe a lot of the romance novels that I have outstanding. Um, but it's certainly something that I need to do more of in future to, to consume my ever-growing and never-shrinking TBR. Pages wise, I actually read a total or listened to uh, the equivalent of 614 pages across the three different um, books that I've consumed. I uh, consumed 121 pages on Friday, uh, 287 pages yesterday, sorry, 206 pages today. So all in all, 600 pages, I mean, that's that's an entire book, especially with fantasy. I mean, this one is nearly 600 pages on its own. So it's the equivalent of reading this book and a bit more um, across the whole weekend. Again, that is nothing to be sneezed at. Um, so I'm really pleased and with that. But yeah, I've had I've had fun doing this, actually, because it, like I said, it's it's made me think about how I consume my books. So yeah, so this was fun. I enjoyed it and I am definitely going to do it again at some point. And give it a go yourselves. You never know uh, what interesting things might come out of it for you. So that's it. That's the end of the vlog. Um, and I don't know how to end a vlog. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. Uh, please let me know your thoughts down below. If you've done challenges like this before um, that are successful, any tips or tricks for, for me to take away going forward. If you have enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Bye.